Prime example, I have a coworker. I'm not gonna call her name because yeah. She came and was like, you know, I have this guy I'm talking to and he's, you know, responsive, he communicates, we go out, you know, he tells me what he wants, blah, 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 blah. But she's like, you know, you know, I am about six type of thing. She was like, I have an 80-20 type of thing. Then she said she has this one other guy who has porn star dick. That's what she called him. That's what she calls him. But that's all he got. Listen, that's the message right here. Black boy, tell me how you really feel. Cause I just wanna build with you. Black girl, tell me how you really feel. I wanna keep it real with you. I wanna live better, eat better. I wanna love better, sleep better. Yeah, I wanna feel so aligned. It's a good thing before I started saying some good shit. What separates the dude that you're in his comment section, you're in his DM, you're you're texting him and hitting him up and stuff versus the dude saved to your phone is Pizza Hut? Because he take he get you pizzas whenever you want. No. <laughs> Never that. Everybody, disclaimer, everybody is in my phone as their first and last name. I don't have anybody. By but as far as the dude who like, you know, you wait to respond to his text, you know what I'm saying? You might see the shit, forget. What separates those two kinds of see, guys? That's, see, that's when you miss when I said, nobody's in my phone is like that. If you have my phone number, that means I talk to you, I text you. Um, I may not respond right then and there because I may be doing something, but that's anybody across the board, mom, friends, whatever. I'm going to respond. Um, so there's no dude in your phone right now who's waiting on you to act right? No. Scout's honor. Mm. No. Why? Because, I mean... I'm, so everybody in your phone has an equal shot, is what you're saying? They do. Like, I feel like whoever step up, if you step up, and say, hey, you know, I, the thing is, I can say all day, like, he may say, okay, I'm, I'm ready for you to stop playing. Okay, you ready for me to stop playing, but are you really ready? Because I tell people, you don't like me. You like the idea of being with me. Talk about that. Explain that for the people in the back. Um, For the people in the back. So, people see you on social media, you know, they think... Oh my God, she's so fine, or she's funny, or she does this, she travels, she's X, Y, and Z. But that's what we put on social media. Like me being very transparent, I still have my issues. You know, I still have days where I don't want to be bothered. I still have days where I can be a bitch, you know, stuff like that. So that's why I tell people, are you, are, when you say you want to be with me, do you want to be with the whole me? Not the me that you see on social media. Not the me that you may see out on dates and stuff like that. It's just, like I said, you you like me, but you like the idea of me, but do you really want to be with me? So similarly, you like the idea of Lucky Day. Yeah, I like him. The idea of him. Yeah, but I'm sure he has his issues, but that's the thing. If that's something that I'm going to pursue, I have to have that mindset. Do I want to deal with that or do I not want to deal with that? If I choose to deal with that after what somebody has put on the table, if he told me he's a pothead, he's he snort coke, he does X, Y, and Z, whatever, I have the choice. Am I going to continue or not? Nah, that's not what I want to I want to deal with. So it's the same thing. Like that's why I say people like the idea. So I can tell them, hey, I got issues. I have X, Y, and Z. I'm you know, I just have days when this, I have days when I have that. If you can accept that all of me, that too, and you deal with it, then I know it's just not an idea. It's a real thing. Is there, um, in, in your opinion, do you, do you feel like it's one reason or a few reasons you could think of why black men and black women are missing each other right now, not getting along or not getting in partnerships or not? Why it's not working? Why is this functional? Do you, do you have any idea or any theories about that? Um, 
I would say translation, things not being, when people are not getting along, it's like speaking a foreign language. Like you're talking this and you're talking that. And, and by both of you doing that, you're not understanding what each person is saying. Um, so the best way to get that to where you need to get to is be say, okay, we need to get one language. We need to speak that one language. And that's what we need to do to understand each other. I feel like um, the man has so much to say and the female has so much to say, or the male has his views on this and the woman has her views on this. And instead of them compromising and trying to fit the puzzle pieces together, they're like, well, look, <laughs> this don't fit, so we, it ain't going to work. I think that's the issue. Both sides want to be heard, but nobody is willing to be like, all right, what, what's your side? And then my thing is now I've learned to, if somebody is, is talking to me and they're explaining something to me, regardless if it's work-related you know, friendship related or relationship related, when they're saying something to me that really needs to be taken in, I'll repeat back what they said. Just so they know, for one, I heard what they said, but then for two, it won't be no issues of, well, when we were talking, I said back to you this, that, and the third, and you said that was right. So now here we are two weeks later and you're saying that's not what you said, but it was. I think that's, that's part of the issue too. Hmm. Could you pinpoint anything that the black female delegation is doing wrong or getting wrong when we or when they um, approach or confront partnership with black men? I want to make sure I'm answering this right. Thank you, Tom. I want to, I would say maybe when they're com it's more them telling somebody something versus asking if that makes sense. Say more. Like my mom used to always tell me when I was growing up, um, I'm like, I need, I need such and such, such and such. And she'd be like, are you, are you asking me or are you telling me? That's what you need. And I used to be like, bro, don't do this. But then as I got older, I had to understand when you asking someone to do something, that's like a agreeance upon both of them. But when you're telling somebody to do something, you're not even allowing them the chance to say, but why or what? Like, why do I have to do this? And I think that could be an issue. Um, women, including myself, because I'm guilty of doing this too, telling somebody, oh, I want you to do this. I want you to do that. You need to be like this. You need to be like that, blah, 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 blah. Versus saying, hey, are you comfortable with doing this? Are you comfortable with X, Y, and Z? That's, that can be totally an issue. We don't see it, but if you were at work and your boss say, I need you to be at work tomorrow at nine o'clock. Well, wait a minute. Are you asking me to be at work tomorrow at nine o'clock? Are you telling me? Because if you're telling me, then you don't know what I have to do prior to me getting to work at nine o'clock or what meeting I may have set up at nine o'clock because you're just telling me. But if you say, hey, I need you to be at this place or whatever at nine o'clock, then I can say, oh, I can, but I'm going to be late or I can't because whatever the case may be. Does that make sense? Yeah. Why, why do you think our women have gotten to that point? I can't speak for all of them, but I think we have that mindset of move, I'll do it myself. Like, so it's like, I have to tell you what to do. And I mean, I've, I've been around men that be like, yeah, my wife have to tell me to, to take out, take out the, the, gar the garbage and stuff like that. But in, in my mind, I'm like, why should somebody have to tell you to do that if you see it going like that? 
So I think that's why women have gotten to that point where they're more comfortable just saying you need to do this, you need to do that versus asking. Even though we still should give people that that chance, I think that's why. It's just more of a repeating. And one thing a black woman hate to do is repeat herself over and over and over and over and over again about the same shit. So maybe they feel like if I just tell you to do it, Instead of ask you, because now that I've asked you and you still ain't doing, now I got to tell you. But I still feel like you should give somebody that chance to do that. And and I agree with you, and that's why for me I'm I'm really critical about black men because I think, unfortunately, you know, there, there's, in my opinion, an uncomfortable number of men who are seeking direction from women, mm -hmm. right? And in that situation, a woman can't respect you because she feels like if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't know where to go. You wouldn't know you're up from your down, you're left from your right. So a man must first establish his own direction, his own path, and then have the woman come help him along that path. Um, but unfortunately for some of the men who have, who've done the work, you know what I'm saying, gotten themselves together, have a standard of living and operation and all that, they still get that same you don't know what the hell you're doing. Move, I'll do it myself. Yeah, yeah. They still, they still, they still get that. Even though, like, yo, my life was good, put together before you got here. Why do you think that is? Mm. I don't know. That's something I can say. I don't know. Like <sighs> some people have the the thing of saying, if it wasn't for me you wouldn't be here, or if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have this. That could be it. Um, but like you said, with men, you know, saying that they already established whatever and the person comes on, that's why I tell people, like when I'm dating them, I don't need you to complete me because I'm already complete. I just need you to compliment me. But if it's something that I'm doing that you feel like could be better in a in a sense of not trying to change me, man or woman, but hey, you're trying to get to this. I can show you how to get to that quicker than the way that you're doing it. I think that would be a better approach versus somebody just being plain out like, you don't know what you're doing, you always fucking shit up, blah, 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 blah. And I think men would, men and women, but mostly men would would take a, take that on if if um, a woman just allows him to do what he needs to do. Like it's just like anybody. If you can do something, you make the mistake the one time. You can. It's okay for you to ask. Hey, I I need help. All right, I got you. And I think that's that's what needs to happen sometimes versus just stepping up. And just trying to take over, allow that person to figure it out on their own. And then if they do come ask you for help, then you help. But when they, you know, when you do ask, I always feel like you shouldn't put put somebody, put somebody down. Well, you should ask me in the first place. If you'd ask me in the first place, you wouldn't be here asking me. I mean, you got to learn. Like, just like telling a child, don't put your hand on that stone. See what happens when you put your hand on that stone. <laughs> because if you tell them... What, what are they going to do? They're going to want to try to feel why she's telling me not to put my hand on the stove. Then they find out, oh, okay, that's why I shouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, a big, a big part of this series, I'm trying to bridge the gap of understanding, right? Black men don't understand why y'all do certain things. Y'all don't understand why we do certain things. What, what are some of the things that you're curious about, that you're un unsure about, that you're still like, that makes no sense to me with regards to men, black men in particular. Mm. Um, like I said, I'm a big communicator, big on time. I'm always either ahead of time when, it, when I gotta do something um, I think that's one thing like I be wondering about men sometimes. Like, why you can't be on time, bro? Like, 
why you can't communicate? Like me, if I'm talking to somebody and I have to, and I say, hey, I'm gonna call you when I get off work. If I get off work every day at five o'clock, he knows I get off work at five o'clock. He's expecting my phone call at five o'clock. But if something happens, something comes up, regardless if, God forbid, I'm in rig or I'm working late or my mom calls or somebody else calls, I'm the type of person I'm going to send a message and say, hey, I'm going to call you as soon as I finish doing X, Y, and Z. Or, hey, I'm going to be late, whatever the case may be. Men don't think like that. Like, they'll just not say anything the whole time and then two or three hours later my bad I got caught up on something I'm like man I thought somebody kidnapped you out here or something like that like though that's mostly one of the things that that irritates me um I'm trying to think what let else. me ask you this which man huh which man which man which men which men yeah what what caliber of man are we talking about I mean, I've, it's been different calibers. Like, it's 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 something there. I don't know. If so, so you're saying men from, you know, motherfuckers who make <laughs> uh, minimum wage and they got a GED mm-hmm. to people who are corporate, well yeah. put together, educated men, yeah. all have an issue with time. Yeah, not not time. When I mean time. They may make it to work on time. They may do that on time. That's that's out. I'm talking about when it comes to time with the person that you're dealing with. Phone calls, text messages, showing up on dates on time. Like, it's stuff like that. Like, yeah, I want you to be at work on time. Please be at work on time because, <laughs> you know, that's out of my control. But my thing is when I put my time aside to do something i expect you to do the same thing so with i can only talk about a specific caliber of guy right Mm -hmm. with those guys Mm -hmm. could could it be that uh they were doing they weren't they didn't actually want to do the thing like they were just doing it for you and that's okay say it so honesty Honesty. you should be more honest honesty Uh, if that's see that like that goes back to me saying be direct about what you want to do. Like, if you don't want to go do X, Y, and Z, just say, I don't want to do that. I might be like, why? But I'm going to be like, okay, cool. That's fine. I'm very cool laid back. Like, if you just tell me what it is, because I feel like in my mind, I can respect you more if you just say, that's what it is. Or I'd be like, well, hey, at least he told me. He didn't have to tell me. That's that's the type of, that's how I think. Like me and my homegirl will be talking. I'd be like, well, girl, he said whatever. But she, I can't be mad because at least he told me. You know, I respect him for that. At least he told me. He said he didn't want to be bothered. You have that with some people. Like some days I don't want to be bothered. I'll just tell somebody, hey, I don't feel like talking. I got a headache, whatever. It's the same thing I expect. Like, if you just say, hey, I, I had this going on, at least I know. Okay, cool. Versus having me thinking, well, damn, did I do something? Like, that's the play street. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Let me see how much. Okay. Kevin Samuels. Oh, my God. <laughs> I always like doing that, like Mufasa, and see people's reaction. Mufasa. <laughs> um, you know, he recently passed. God rest his soul. God rest his soul. Um, what thoughts and feelings do you associate with that name? Personally, I didn't get involved in me actually watching, like going to his page to watch what was going on. It was more of, oh, if it popped up on the shade room or if it popped up on Facebook or if it popped up on Twitter. Um, And I knew a girl who I went to school with, she actually, you know, was on one of his episodes. I didn't even go and watch that 
And the only reason why I knew she was on there because this guy just, you know, he was pretty much trying to drag her on Facebook. Like, you didn't listen to Kevin Samuels and stuff like that. And the thing is, it's like, um, from what I saw, <laughs> the way it was the delivery of the stuff. But in a certain situation, it's like, do we want to be yes men all our lives? You know, you always want that that person. Like me, I tell my friends, I'm going to keep it 100% with you. Like, you wrong. This is what you need to do. Blah, 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 blah. I think sometimes when we don't want to hear the truth from other people, we take it in a different in a different form. But I feel like he was trying to make people, you know, better. But it was a delivery. But then you have those other people um, who's not Kevin Samuels that's, you know, taking stuff and making it worse than what it is. Because, you know, social media always going to heighten something more than what it really is. Um, but I can say personally, like, I really didn't watch too much of his stuff. I just saw the memes and the stuff that they would post on social media, and that was pretty much it. So who is somebody, you know, celebrity otherwise, with a delivery that you feel like is ideal? Because, mm. I mean, we hear that a lot, you know, mm -hmm. his delivery, his delivery, his delivery. With somebody that you feel like if he delivered more like this, then you know. Um. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Platform wise, I don't know. I mean, I listen to radio stations and stuff like that or like the Breakfast Club and even the stuff they'd be on and saying, I'd be like, bro, that ain't it. Um, but see, I don't know because I don't really watch other people's stuff on social media like that. I don't even like me personally, like I don't watch. I say ratchet TV, like love and hip hop basketball wives and stuff like that so I couldn't even tell you who was actually have a platform it's like the red table talk I don't even watch that I don't know so I want to know who whose delivery it is but the thing is you know it's just like we tell people it's not about what you say it's how you say it you could tell me you need to go home and do something about your hair. I know my hair look bad. You, you can go home and tell me that. But if you say, girl, your hair look bad, like da 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 and you just being too much, then I may take offense to that. But it also depends on who it's coming from, too. I feel like sometimes people's like, why, why does this man feel obligated that he can tell me how I look, or what I need to do. But I was thinking also, this is a man. Like, this isn't a woman. You don't want to date a woman. You want to date a man. So if this is what you're, if this is what you wanted, then it's got to come from that person. But then it goes back to how he said it. But, and, and, and you know, that's, that's the main thing. And that, that's what, you know, got me fascinated about Kevin Samuels in the first place, because um, I've heard Kevin Samuel-esque messages towards women. Mm -hmm. I've heard more catered and softer messages towards women. Mm -hmm. I've heard messages from men, women. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't listen to nobody. <laughs> if, it's, if it's a critique, mm -hmm. if it's something less than flattering, if it's not sister, mother, goddess, queen, women, it seems like these days are unwilling to listen to anybody. Mm -hmm. Why is that? <sighs> and, you know, the worst part is, in my experience, women aren't even willing to listen to the caliber of men that they want. Mm -hmm. I want a six figure, six foot, six whatever man. 
And he'll say, ah, you need to lose a little bit of weight. Ah, you misogynistic <laughs> woman hater. You, you're not even willing to listen to him. If Jesus came and was like, you know what? You need to give your life to Christ. God, I should be able to be, you know, <laughs> you should love me just like I am. Yeah. Why is that? I don't know. I don't know. Like, like I said, me, me and one of my best friends, we've been best friends for like 10 plus years. It took us a while to get to that point of you wrong, holding each other accountable. And I think now if she like tells me friend that ain't right, or if somebody else tell me something, if somebody else tell me something, I would definitely take what they said. I may not like it, but I'll take what they said. And then I'll go and say, Hey, to her, this is what such and such, such and such said, what you think, you knowing me, as long as you know what it is. And like I said, she's not a yes woman. She's going to tell me if I'm, if I'm right or wrong. And then if she say, yeah, whatever, then I'm going to be like, okay. It just depends on the person. I don't know why we want to be hard headed. I blame, I blame Eve. <laughs> blame Eve, y'all. Eve is, is Eve's fault. She started everything. God told her, don't go eat that, go, go eat the apple. What'd she do? What eat fruit? Because we don't know if it was an apple or not. But fruit and what she do. We didn't want to listen to him, so we just don't want to listen. I don't know what it is. That might be the title. I blame Eve. Do go ahead. Yeah, that might be cool. I blame Eve. It's her fault. <laughs> so, okay. So, I mean, as as a woman, you know, I've I've been talking about this concept of a black female delegation, right? Because, you know, unbeknownst to a lot of women, black men are doing the work. Black men are coming together. We're, we're, we're lifting each other up. I saw a video the other day of some black boys helping another black boy ride a bicycle. Mm -hmm. Black men are doing the work, um, holding each other accountable, holding them up to a certain standard. And black men tend to be a lot more cutthroat. Yo, either you this or you out. Whereas women tend to be more coddling. Oh, I know you a hoe, but you know, you're still one of us. <laughs> um, what do you plan on doing um, as a black woman, as a black woman who is in network and community and fellowship with other black women um, to get them to the point where they're ready for, you know, the things that they say they want, because the vast majority say they want a Boaz and a good dude, blah, blah, blah. What do you think you can do to contribute to that? Well, I, I kind of already contribute, like I'm in HR, so I love to see black women move up in certain places. Like I'm the type like, hey girl, this job came open or if you need help preparing for it, let me know. Or I'm always, you know, you need to go back to school and do X, Y, and Z. That's one thing when it comes to her wanting her Boaz. Prime example, I have a coworker. I'm not gonna call her name cause yeah. She came and was like, you know, I have this guy I'm talking to and he's, you know, responsive, he communicates, we go out, you know, he tells me what he wants, blah, 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 blah. But she's like, you know, you know, I am about six type of thing. She was like, I have an 80-20 type of thing. Then she said she has this one other guy who has porn star dick. That's what she called. That's what she calls him. But that's all he got. I was like, why are you in my face talking about this? That should be you know, one of those things it shouldn't. So I'm, I'm telling her like. Well, explain the eighty twenty. I'm not understanding eighty twenty. So they have this thing called your eighty twenty. So if you watched um, Tyler Perry, Why Did I Get Married? So in the movie, they talked about the eighty twenty rule. If your eighty outweighs your twenty in any type of way, that's your answer. So if you have a man who is your ideal man, like. He's oh so man A just didn't have good dick. It wasn't it wasn't what she, it wasn't what she expected or wanted because she's dignitized by this other person who's doing everything else. You know we we get in that trans like oh my god it was so good, but you can't get him to do anything else, whatever. So that was her thing, and I was like 
But think about it, sis. Like, that's all he has to offer. Like, what happens if you're stranded on the side of the road and you need somebody to come help you change a tire or something like that? Or what happens when you're going through an episode or something like that? Or what happens? And I just kept giving her all these scenarios. And I was like, that's all he has to offer you. Versus this man over here. I said, and I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to leave it to you. Like, you do whatever else you want to do with the information. Um, so me, I try to say, okay, I'm thinking as a woman, but I'm also thinking as a man. I hate to bring that up. Like, no Steve Harvey shit. But it's just like, okay, you ha you have to put yourself in this person's shoes. What do you think was going on at this time? You know, sometimes people hate to hear that. And I'd be like, well, you know, he sent you this, but that's because you sent this. He Maybe he didn't know what to say. Sometimes people are good communicators via text. Sometimes you just have to pick up the phone and say, okay, what does that text mean? 